SpaceX is ready to put its long-awaited Starship into space, and for that, it has been doing some massive upgrades to everything to make the launch event successful. This is the launch for which the space community has been waiting anxiously. But with these structural upgrades, I think we are closer than ever to witnessing the historical moment. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here with another interesting video regarding the launch of SpaceX's new Starship. Recently, we have seen SpaceX performing some major upgrades to all stuff related to Starship's mega launch. Excited to find out more? Well, then stick to the video to know everything happening at SpaceX. At the start of 2022, the CEO and founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, announced that in the following 12 months the world will be able to witness the launch of SpaceX's flagship spacecraft. Right now, all eyes are on Starship's successful launch. Because if that goes as planned, it will pave the way to more deep space exploration and might become the first spacecraft to fly humans to Mars. These are some of the goals that Elon has been associating with his rockets. Will we be able to colonize Mars using the Starship, or is it still a mystery? At the moment, the only thing that's certain about Starship's launch is that there is no timeline. Things are happening, and some of these developments are significant, and that's what we are going to discuss here. It all started with the static tests of the booster's engines and Starship's own Raptor engines. The booster that SpaceX plans to use for the launch of Starship is named Booster 7, and it has a total of 33 Raptor engines. These engines are capable of producing double the amount of thrust that took NASA's SLS rocket into space. So, there is no doubt that if the launch goes successfully, then it will be a record-breaking moment for the space community and the private space agency. The recent static tests which were conducted by SpaceX happened a few weeks ago. During the first test, 14 engines were fired, and during the most recent one, only 11 of the 33 Raptor engines were fired. Many are constantly criticizing SpaceX for repeated static tests instead of orbital ones, but it seems like SpaceX wants to make sure that everything is in place before they go for the launch. For example, during the second last test, one of the Raptor engines blew up. Even though the Raptor's blast was quite scenic, but that's not what it's meant to do. It's not the first time when something has failed to perform at SpaceX. However, Musk says that failures like these help them gather useful data. So, it's not that bad after all. Since SpaceX introduced their new Raptor 2 engines, the problems have become frequent, which SpaceX is improving before we get to see the orbital launch. Those who are observing the activities of SpaceX have reported that the upgrades and improvements required on the Starship are quite minimal. For example, this one time, engineers were observed doing some welding work on Starship's 24 steel frame. During these works, the heat shields were down, so everyone was able to see the work that was happening. But SpaceX has already announced that there is a Starship 25 prototype which will soon replace Starship 24 at the launch site for further static tests. Those who are concerned about the resilience of Starship 24 will not have much to worry about. One of the main components of the overall stack of spacecraft is the booster. In the case of Starship, its Booster 7, or B7, has been subjected to a lot of static tests by SpaceX. It was B7 whose Raptor engine blew up during the previous test. At first, it seemed that only the engine is gone, but later, we got to know that the transfer tube inside the tank of B7 also got damaged. That transfer tube is responsible for bringing down the liquid methane to the liquid oxygen tank, after which the mixture of both is supplied to the 33 Raptor engines. This tube has quite a responsibility as the Raptor engines require 45,000 pounds of liquid methane per second and any problem with the transfer tube can end up being a big disaster. So, this is one of the upgrades that will be performed to the B-7 before it can be brought back to the launch site. Another concern that SpaceX has been facing is the upgrades and repairs of the orbital launch mount, aka OLM. 
Usually, a proper flame trench is prepared to make a vent for the exhaust gases coming out of the booster's engines. In the case of SpaceX, they are facing a precarious situation because the launch site from where SpaceX has planned to propel their Starship is close to a natural preserve and engineering core of the US Army, so they are not allowed to dig a flame trench or make a water basin. This brings us back to the orbital launch mount. It is the mount on which SpaceX has been conducting all the recent static tests. The orbital mount is a very sturdy and resilient structure made from concrete, metal, and other materials. All these structures combined provide enough support for the booster to stand and perform the launch sequence. However, after repeated static tests, the mount now requires repairs, as it has received a lot of damage. The blast of the Raptor engines especially did some real damage to the overall structure and heat shields. SpaceX is currently working on repairing the mount to make it ready for further testing and final launch. SpaceX has started working on repairing the heat shields, plumbing structures, and concrete base. The only upgrade so far has been the increase in the height of the mount's base. It is being done so the amount of damage can be controlled. SpaceX wouldn't have been facing any of these problems if it wasn't for the launch location being near the wildlife preserve. Fortunately, the OLM seems like a workable solution. If for some reason it fails to sustain the heat coming from 33 Raptor engines, SpaceX might have to find another way out. Almost all the activities being conducted by SpaceX have some sort of supervision by NASA because of their human landing system contract. Under this contract, NASA and SpaceX are working together to put humans once again on the lunar surface. Another reason for the supervision is to make sure that Starship doesn't have to meet a similar fate as Falcon 9 and Dragon. We saw how frustrating and devastating it was to see the non-crewed spacecraft blast mid-air during their initial launches. That's one of the reasons SpaceX is delaying the launch of Starship, because they don't want to take any risks with their new machine. This might have put a question mark on Musk's promises, but let's hope that once all these upgrades are done, we will be able to see the incredible launch. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.